We are back investigating the very real and deadly dangers of food allergies, including rare airborne food allergies. Real Housewife Bethany Franco is here. She almost lost her life recently because of her severe fish allergy. An 11-year-old Cameron Jean-Pierre died. He died after inhaling allergens from fish cooking at his grandmother's house. Very innocent, very safe stuff. Again, thank you for talking openly about a problem that a lot of us are ignoring or underplaying. Allergist Dr. Tanya Elliott is here. I trust her on this stuff. Speak a little bit, if you can, about severe airborne allergies. How does it happen that a small amount of air that you're breathing in can cause such a, such a, such a bad problem? Right, you know, we typically think about it with environmental allergies like pollen, right? But it's the same mechanism. If a food protein is suspended in the air and there's enough of it and you inhale it and it's kind of the perfect storm, close quarters, you're standing over something that's being cooked, it travels in through the nasal passages, through the lungs. The lungs are covered with allergy cells and then that can trigger the release of histamine and anaphylaxis. The cooking that we're showing back here is a classic example. And that's why, you know, when I, when I think of Cameron, I mean, I, I don't know if he would have ever had a problem if the cook wasn't, the fish wasn't being cooked, but we're all around cooked food all the time. You and, smell it off a grill, it's coming off that, yeah. off a grill, I've gotten itchy from being near a grill. And it's not just fish allergies, right? You can have inhaled problems with other types of products as well. Fish, shellfish, but you also think things we don't cook like wheat flour. Right. All right, so come on over there. There's some causes why people are developing food allergies well into adulthood. These stunned me. Just explain this to me if you don't mind. Right, and so, Shellfish in particular is an allergy that we see more in adulthood. And the leading theory is there are two major risk factors. One is the use of alcohol over time, as well as chronic use of antacids. So the theory is that it impacts the acidity in your stomach and the way that you break down certain foods. And for whatever, whatever it is, a shellfish is one that gets impacted the most. And so suddenly now the protein is broken down a little bit differently, again, because the pH in your stomach is different from things like this, and then it suddenly now looks foreign to the body, where previously it wasn't. We really don't see it in kids because kids aren't drinking alcohol and popping antacids, but that's the leading theory right now, that suddenly the shellfish protein looks a little bit different to the human body. Give us some insights about important life-saving advice. What would you say to folks? So it's EpiPen, and it's not just carrying your EpiPen with you at all times. People talk about make sure you carry your EpiPen, but it's also knowing how to use it and also making sure that family members and loved ones know how to use it. So just like we do fire drills, right, yes. when prepared for emergency situations, same thing for people with life-threatening food allergies. I recommend an anaphylaxis action plan. Yes. Everybody knows what to do so that you're not caught in the setting of an emergency. Is this the EpiPen or the generic brand? Because everyone's call, it's like Band-Aid. Everyone's calling it EpiPen, but there are, is another generic right. brand. Right, this is the generic, this okay. is the generic brand. They, you know, they work just the same, and yes. hopefully we could do something about the costs. Yes, we have to do something about the costs. We were talking about that on the break. We need more people making them and buy the cheap ones. Yes. They're just, the, the medication itself is not expensive. It's that putting it in this packaging that costs all the money, and it shouldn't cost, we don't think what it should cost. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank you so much uh, the, for having me. Simple you. advice. I know, I know the answer on wine. I don't know if you take antacids, but I didn't realize this for a lot of people watching who are like you and me, these have become life-changing opportunities. Yes. And I appreciate what you're saying about airlines as well. I reached out to a couple. Oh, they, thank you. They, they actually, they think it's worth talking about. Oh, good. It may not be worth getting rid of all the fish, but maybe they block off certain cordons or, so you don't get exposed directly. Or just you, not cooking it. They could serve shrimp over a salad also but not example. cooking it. Okay, but awesome. Thank you for being thank here. You. As thank always, you so much. God bless Thank you. you. Nice right. to meet you. We'll be right back. Yeah.